Hello Virgos, welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of March. This is challenging in a way that, um, you know, I, I feel that you're fine, but still the people around might prove to be difficult. People and circumstances in general, okay? But I feel that in general you're going to be fine. Um, so the Hermit, that is the card of Virgo. So this is you. It's showing up in the um, upright position, which is really good. So this is a month of enlightenment. And it's a situation in which you're shining light on everything that is happening. So things are coming to light, or there's new revelation, or there are new insights into how you can deal with people around you that might prove to be annoying. And in general, it's a, a time of enlightenment, okay? And you know, like the hermit, he lives on top of a mountain. He lives like, um, usually in like, also could be a lighthouse or in a cottage on top of a mountain. He's looking down at the little people. Not in a way that's condescending, but it's because he chooses to isolate himself from the riffraff of the world. That's the way I'm looking at this. And, you know, like, it's, the imagery is coming out very strongly just because the people around might be a little problematic. So, like I said, you're insulating yourself from this. You're looking from the top down at these situations unfolding, you know, or I guess underneath, and you're just like, um, it's kind of like rising above the pettiness, you know, that is happening below, okay, which is great because it shows like um, a higher state of consciousness, it, it shows like a, a higher state of being, and you know, like being elevated from all this human drama, which is a really, really good thing for you to do. And um, it's really hard to do that, but you're able to do it in this month, and that's why, you know, like um, like I said, the problem is not emanating from you. You're coming up on top, and understandably so, okay? So let's talk about the rest of the, the cards and how this month will play out for you. I do have Page of Wands, and the Page of Wands is looking up at your mountain, looking at you from, you know, from below. The Page of Wands usually, um, they deal with a lot of... Um, messages like they're usually traditionally messengers and um, with the court cards especially in a fire sign what I'm sensing is uh, somebody somebody that is in your midst has a very playful nature and they're trying to coax you out of your you know your lair basically they're trying to coax you into what I'm sensing is it could be a work partnership, friendship, relationship. They're trying to coax you to come down and, you know, play with them on their level, essentially. If it is a love interest, I feel that you are actually pretty attracted to this person. So this is a fire sign, okay? Male or female. So they're trying to, like, um, they're trying to, they see themselves as um, trying to inject, like, passion and drive into your life. And you're kind of, you're looking at this like, um, you're tempted, basically. You're very tempted to, to get out of your ivory tower and engage with this person on that human level, you know. And I do see with the hangman in the reverse position, this could potentially move forward and move forward pretty quickly, okay. And then you you get to the point where this is possibly the middle of the month too or sometime this month you're weighing the pros and cons of whether to get involved with this person and I feel that emotionally or physically this person might be a little bit younger than yourself so then you're pretty hesitant about it and on top of that they're of a fiery energy so you feel as if um, it's uncomfortable I, I, what I'm sensing is that um, you know you're, you're up here like isolated from the rest of the human experience, a lot of the, the emotional trauma, uh, drama, not trauma, drama, and you, you like the, you like the isolation, you like the isolation, I'm using isolation as a metaphor, okay, so it's not like you live in a hut all by yourself, and you're just, um, yeah, it's, it's not like that, it's more of a metaphorical way to tell this story. So I would say you're debating between, you know, encamp um, letting that person in or going back to your tower in which you have stability, in which everything is predictable and the way you like, okay? So you don't like a lot of chaos in your life, that's what I'm sensing. But um, you're actually really tempted by this person because um, they're showing up all, you know, young and starry-eyed and just very, um, I, I guess, like, very 
they're they're they admire you and that pleases you you know it's it's nice to feel like um appreciated and admired so i'm i'm sensing that but this person is definitely coaxing you i do see that you're actually going to roll with it and in the process too this um five of pentacles in the reverse position i would say like a, a self esteem issue okay so in dealing with others in dealing with somebody who really looks up to you 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 feel invigorated and you feel like your self esteem is through the roof which is a great thing to do so I would definitely advise you if there is that fire sign go with it okay and then this is what I mean by getting bogged down you know like trying to isolate yourself from the human experience because this inevitably happens this is like disputes um, miscommunication and also um, situations in which people don't see eye to eye and then they argue on technicalities rather than trying to get to the truth of the matter this is pettiness petty arguments and inevitably in the process you're going to be bogged down in this but I would say the way this card is playing out people are a little immature but they don't really mean any harm okay so for those of you too page of cups deals with a fire sign of uh, sorry water sign a very young energy that is, um, you know, in the ma negative manifestation, a little manipulative and a little immature when it comes to, like, handling human relationships. So they, they get you caught up in this situation, okay? Or it's, it's going to be against your will, but like I said, this is the five of wands. So the people around, even maybe the people in this person's midst might be really immature and, you know, trying to... Um, convince him or her not to be in a relationship with you so there's like jealousy cattiness but um they're not mean malicious people because then that would be like a more of a sword energy this is just you know silly 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 pettiness so um you're rising above it so i don't think that's going to be bad um like it, it's not it's just going to be annoying more than anything but it's not damaging it's not going to keep you up at night i really don't see that okay so speaking of swords i do have sorry i do have here the six of swords in the reverse position okay so for those of you who have dealt with a fire sign in the past i feel like this fire sign is um this is a card of like not letting go and going back to previous situations not moving forward with your life um, if you have dealt with a fire sign in the past, or if there is, you know, somebody with this disposition where they really look up to you and they're trying to coax you out of your lair and they're coming back in, this is actually a good opportunity to let them in, mainly because I feel that they've changed, they've changed, um, they've changed themselves and it's not in a superficial way. I feel that deep down they really change. And they really see a very good thing in you that they can't find elsewhere, especially with the immature people around in their midst. So they really change, and they really want to do right by you. So I would say, you know, give it another chance, all right? Um, let's see here. With the world, what I'm sensing is this. Um, you're going to go into back into that situation with a lot of skepticism. With the hangman, you're you're actually thinking that you know the um, you want something new rather than going back to the old, or the old hasn't worked before. So you're like keeping score, and you're you're um, I guess calculating the the success rate of going back to an old situation. But I would say you know if it is a fire sign that you've dealt with in the past too. If it's a fire sign even that's new and you're contemplating whether or not you should let this person into your life because you're afraid of the drama that might entail, I would say you you should. It has a good outcome, okay, but um, it's not going to play out exactly the way you want. There might be a little bit of complication, but the outcome looks very good. With the world in the reverse position, it's... Um, what I'm sensing is, you know, like, the world upright is everything you hoped it to be and more. The world in the reverse position just indicates that the world is still there, you know. However, the tactics that you have to achieve it and, you know, the work that you put into it might require a little more investment on your end, but the outcome looks very good. So let that person back in if they're still around and if they're still, you know, trying to coax you. Because I feel that you are very tempted. So there's a lot of passion there as well, which is really good. Um, King of Pentacles. Okay, so this deals with um, financial situation in general. Um, financially, like I said, you know, this is not a poverty card. 
Um, so I can read this in as two ways, okay? Manage your finances. I don't feel that's a huge problem for you Virgos. Manage your finances. Um, additionally, there might be like an, a parent that might be draining your resources, like a parent who needs help that might be draining your resources, okay? So I would say their parents, they, you know, you only have one set of parents, so try your best to help them. But at the same time, I, I don't think... Yeah, like, I would say, you know, Virgos, you guys manage money very well, so, um, if anything, you know, like, do give them, because I feel that they're in need, they're in need, okay, but really assess what they're using it for, so, um, try to help them if, if you can, if it's apparent, okay, because it's corroborated by this Five of Pentacles as well, and another way in which this could play out is... If you are not involved with that fire sign, if there's no fire sign from the past, if this is a new energy, if you're involved with another earth sign, um, so a another Virgo, a Taurus, and a Capricorn, okay? If you're involved with that and um, you're debating, or if you're even debating between like a, a fire sign and that earth sign, I just want you to be a little bit of careful about this earth sign because um, what I'm seeing is they might try to come in to because they, they see that you're happy and they might try to come in out of jealousy to ruin it at the same time another way that this could play out is um, they might be draining your resources in a very selfish way okay so be a little careful about that okay this is not going to apply for everyone but I would say like there's a, a drainage of resources and it, it's like um front and center so basically your card money card the other person card so it's like there's a there's a an outward flow of your money to another person so be careful about that too um i do feel though you know for those of you who are dealing with that fire sign um you're not going to feel like um, you're out of your, you feel like really unsettled in a good way though. Like I would say it's pushing you out of your comfort zone and you're going to feel like a little bit displaced. But I would say it's it's for your own growth. That. Okay. And then we end with the page of cups in the reverse position. So like I said, this page of cups is linked up with the people in this fire sign's mist. If you're not dealing with a fire sign, it could be somebody who is just... Um, in this circle and there this could be in in your environment as well your work your friendships your relationships I feel that it's a work situation though with this wand energy on top of it so people are like um, I wouldn't say gossip people are more like um, judgmental I know this is not like um, the the sword energy deals more with judgment but in this situation there is kind of like um, so it could be a situation where you, you know, like, um, you're dating somebody who's drastically younger and then other people are talking, or you're dating somebody at work who's of a higher position than you are, and then people are talking. It's just, like, pettiness. It's pettiness. And then you're, you know, in the process. I feel like that is why you just feel like you have to get away. You have to rise above it all. And I feel this month you're definitely in a better frame of mind to rise above it. You're resonating on a different wavelength, you're on a different level, okay? So I, I don't sense like condescension or anything like that. I just feel that um, this is a, a tactic in which um, people adopt for self-preservation, which is a really great tactic, okay? So just make sure that um, you don't stay there too long because, it, you know, we have to experience this human experience we have to go through it okay so make sure you don't stay in your ivory tower and live in your head for too long and live in you know like um closing off your heart for too long okay because um i do see a lot of abundance and especially you know in friendships and relationships as well all right so please like share subscribe